Hey folks, thanks for logging on. This is podcast number five, New England Storm Chasers. I'm student meteorologist James Cinco and the head of operations here. I just wanted to check in with you folks just to give you an update of what's going on out there in the world of weather and storm chasing, so to speak. Right now, though, because it's the dead of winter, we're in the off season, but we are gearing up ready for an active summer, hoping it's an active summer. But meteorologically speaking, though, it is hard to predict whether down the road it may be a very active season. Checking out everything going on out there, I want to uh, first start off and say uh, what an amazing partnership we've got going on. Uh, we've uh, contacted and working together now with New England Rotation, a uh, group of guys out of Massachusetts. Can't wait to uh, meet with them and chase this summer, hoping for some big storms to chase with. Um, Kyle and I have got some amazing stuff going on. Uh, getting getting ready and gearing up for a better active season this year. Um, we uh, we just inst- I think Kyle is just now installing mobile internet in our in our um, in our chase vehicle um, in his truck. Um, this year I've uh, I I almost completed uh, my uh, uh, installation of my uh, chase cam inside my vehicle. Um, and when we have live in- when we have internet like we will with Kyle. Um, we're going to be, uh, I think we're going to be installing another chase cam inside of his truck and we're going to be running two feeds at once when we're on deployment at a location, but when we're chasing we're going to be running off of one cam. Um, it will be really interesting this year. I think we're going to be chasing in one vehicle though, compared to what we used to do as two vehicles, um, just for uh, money wise and you know for chasing with storms. But um, if you want to go over to our website, always as usual, anystormchasers.com. Well, that's where you got all the action happening. You can log in, register, be a member. We've got Facebook, Twitter, YouTube updates, everything. Remember, we also have a special part of our Twitter account. That's New England Storm Chasers Alerts. Those are what we, uh, when we issue alerts, like if we uh, are deploying or anything like that, you'll know about it. Also, we want to uh, use that to utilize our system for um, notifying warnings that are issued across New England. Um, but we always have automatic updates. Uh, where are those? I can't remember which one. Kyle put them under one of these folders. I can't remember which one it is. But you can always find constant. There we go. Constant severe weather updates. Go under WX updates on the top of your screen on NewEnglandStormChasers.com. You can easily get there at NewEnglandStormChasers.com/wx-updates. That's where you can find them. Those are all the watches, warning information, constantly updated from the National Weather Service. Um, all kinds of cool things we got going on, our affiliations there. If you go down on the right-hand side, you can find the New England Rotation um, link. Click on that. Visit them on their Facebook page. Great amount of guys out there. Great guys out there. Can't wait to work with them for this year. Checking out all kinds of other things. We've got Twitter updates, Facebook updates, everything you need right here within one click. Easily to get to where you need to be. If you ever have any comments or anything like that, you can always leave us a reply. Um, you can either contact Kyle or myself through that. And we also have a neat feature called Send Reports. Now, of course, you always want to send your severe weather reports safely and to the National Weather Service. But always, you can send them right to us. We would love to see them um, right here at uh, any anystormchasers.com. And then when you go to the, right on the top, you'll see a link that says Send Report. You can send your report in, fill out your name, email address, Skywar numbers, if you have them, location, what to report, um, many different things you can report, anything like that. Definitely um, give us anything you've got. We'd love to put that into our system so we can uh, track on severe weather reports and we can uh, report to you right here through our podcast. Um, just taking a look at the uh, Storm Prediction Center, um, just wanted to mention, you know, it doesn't seem like we've got too much in the way of severe weather anytime soon. There's a couple of potential threats for severe weather on Thursday and Friday, but of course that's down in the southern regions of the U.S., anywhere from Texas across over to North Carolina. We won't be seeing much in the way of damage here. There is the potential for some tornadoes too there. Uh, AccuWeather just came out recently and said that they're predicting a higher number of tornadoes this year. Um, we will wait to see if this verifies. But the other thing I wanted to log on and tell you guys about is if you go to apollo.lsc.vsc.edu slash AMS, 
You will be joining us here at the Lennon State College AMS page, which is the American Meteorological Society, and we're also a chapter of the National Weather Association. And I, as a member, am pleased to announce the 37th Annual Northeastern Storm Conference, which is being held March 2nd to the 4th at the Holiday Inn in Rutland, Killington, which is in Rutland, Vermont. Um, definitely it's worth coming to check out. We've passed the deadline of February 10th. I know I've been constantly updating Twitter and Facebook about this, but now here on our podcast I want to mention it. You can still register for the conference. Now, you can register for the conference, especially if you live near the area. I'm not sure about the capacity for a hotel room still. Uh, that would be something you'd want to contact the treasurer or the president of the club. You can easily find their information right at the top under officers. You can contact them through there. Um, for the conference though, I want to mention though, a lot of stuff going on. The speakers this year, the icebreaker speaker, which is the first speaker, the big speakers, I should say. There are this guy's on Friday night. This guy is an amazing guy. He works with how the weather works. He's pretty amazing how he can interact and chain and talk about weather and teach and stuff like that. I swear this guy's am he's amazing. You should be there for this talk. Mr. Michael Mogul will be there Friday, March 2nd, 2012. You get to speak to him after afterwards. You can talk to him about stuff. He, he's, he's a great guy. And then uh, our keynote speaker, which is March 3rd, which is during the banquet, our big banquet dinner that we have. Um, we have the one and only severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes from the Weather Channel. He's coming up and uh, he's going to talk about severe weather, presumably, of course, at the conference. And it's just like, it's going to be a great time at the banquet. A great, you get, there's a, many selections for food. There's like four or five selections for uh, uh, food. I've, I've seen them all and they all look and all sound delicious completely. Choose it then. You can go to the speaker and see the speaker afterwards. Dr. Greg Forbes, of course, will see everybody afterwards for photos and and stuff like that, photos and talking to him and everything. He's an amazing guy. I can't wait to meet him myself. And then the Sunday morning speaker is uh, speakers, I should say, are meteorologist Karen German and meteorologist Steve Glazier, both from Fox 44 in Burlington. They're going to be talking about the aspect of broadcasting meteorology. Uh, so amazing stuff coming up. And then there's so many talks about... Um, Excuse me. There's so many talks about severe weather, ocean stuff, climate stuff, um, hydrometeorology stuff, everything you can think of, uh, tropical weather. There's so much to going on. There's speakers. There's professionals. There's students. There's graduates. There's everything you can think of. Come on down to Rutland, Vermont, March 2nd through the 4th. Register online at apollo.lsc.vsc.edu slash AMS. Go to register. Um, contact uh, Mr. Torrance Gosher, the treasurer of the AMS L uh, NWA Club at Linden, about more information about what you got to do there. All right, folks. Well, I, there ain't much to talk about in the severe weather department, um, so we're just gonna I'm gonna wrap it up here. But definitely check out our website, anystormchasers.com.